My name could have been Oliver Queen. You know, if, like, my parents named me Oliver and their surname was Queen. <clears throat> For five months. And some change. I've been stranded in a mediocre season with only one thing on my mind. Survive. Now, I hope to fulfill someone's wish by inspiring someone to write a petition to take down the man who's been poisoning our show. To do that, I must become someone else. I must become something else. Hello everyone, it's War from DOS 4 Horsemen, where, based on my video I did on The Flash, and if you know me really well, and that's weird if you know me really well, and I don't know you really well, because that means you're a stranger, but don't worry, I'm lonely and very desperate, so I'll probably say yes. Anyways, I'm gonna talk about Arrow Season 4 Finale, because to put it bluntly, it sucked. And it was horrible. I mean, I had much more fun, and I was quite more entertained watching Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice, than I was this whole entire season, and especially this season 4 finale. So, to put it short, my review for this season 4 finale was, it was bad, and it didn't really make much sense. It didn't help me as a viewer find closure in all the things that needed to be resolved in the show, in the season. So, before I talk about it in depth, let me put a little spoiler warning. So, spoiler warning, go watch that episode, but seriously, don't do it. Unless you want to, like, torture yourself and you're into that, then go ahead. By all means, do it. Um, <clears throat> Before I talk about the whole entire season, uh, well, the whole entire season ep finale, season four finale, let me talk to you about the synopsis of Arrow. Arrow is about Oliver Queen, who was stranded on an island for five years after a boat incident went wrong. He learns how to survive and now he's back to reclaim his city because his dad, who killed himself to make sure that his son lived, gave him a book that said, Hey son, these men are poisoning our city. Do that what you want. And he decides to become a vigilante. Also, it's pretty grounded because I'm pretty sure they saw Christopher Nolan's Batman get some major success and they wanted to emulate that success in a smaller screen, so they chose Green Arrow and they made it a bit grounded. Keep that in mind. Alright, let me talk about the whole entire road so far, you know? So season one, it's about Oliver Queen. He gets his book, and he's becoming a vigilante. He becomes the HUD, the vigilante, in that season. And he's going up against Malcolm Merlin, who is one of the names on the book that his father gave him, and who Oliver Queen has known because Malcolm Merlin is a friend of Oliver's father. Malcolm Merlin has a plan to, I believe it was to destroy the whole entire city or a section of that city, and Oliver Queen is going to stop him, but... He fails, and that was season one, and I enjoyed it because I like seeing the hero fail sometimes. Okay, on to season two. Based on the repercussions of what happened on season one, a friend of Oliver got killed and told Oliver after he realized he was actually Green Arrow, hey, you're a murderer and a serial killer. I don't like that. So now Oliver Queen doesn't kill because in season one, unlike Batman, he was a person that would kill his enemies. I'm talking about, you done goofed up. You have failed the city. And he shoots them. And they die. <laughs> Season 2 introduces Deathstroke, who, throughout the whole entire series, there's flashbacks. It was a nice way it blended in with the show. So these flashbacks, Arrow, Oliver Queen, and Slade Wilson were buddies. And they were also with another girl named Shadow. Now, Oliver Queen and Shadow had a thing going on, and Slade and Shadow, well, Slade was more obsessed with Shadow, sort of like the way Zoom was obsessed with Caitlyn Snow. Kind of like how Death is obsessed with Janae Aiko. <laughs> It's never gonna happen, guys. So, Slade wants revenge because Oliver Queen unintentionally got Shadow killed. So, Slade is introduced in Season 2, he's Deathstroke, he's pretty rich and powerful, and they go all out. It's Oliver Queen against Deathstroke, and the season finale for that, it gets resolved. Arrow and his gang versus Deathstroke and his goons, and it was amazing. Probably the best season finale of that show, in my opinion. Now, Season 3 introduces some magical elements, like the Lazarus Pit. Which, for those of you who don't know, is like a hot, mythical hot spring bath that heals all wounds and brings you back from death. So that's pretty cool. And we're introduced to Ra's al Ghul, who's an amazing character and a big Batman character. And he, the reason why he's going up against Oliver Queen is because Oliver Queen, one of his friends, unintentionally, while on drugs and mind-controlled, killed one of Ra's al Ghul's best assassins. So now the League of Shadows... They come to Oliver Queen and they say, either you bring us their head, they fight us, or we're going to destroy the city 
and make everyone crumble and fall down to their knees because I'm Ra's al Ghul and I'm bad. So that happens and that gets resolved. Oliver Queen, Green Arrow, beats Ra's al Ghul. And I didn't really like the way he beat him, but whatever. Also, I felt like that's when the show started to go down. After the mid-season finale of season 3, it started to go down. Now, season 4 introduces a ton of magic, which doesn't really make sense because, like, Oliver Queen and Arrow was supposed to be really grounded, and now it's like, oh, yeah, I knew about magic already. So it's like, oh, hey, don't you think that'd be smart if you told us about magic? I'm just saying. Okay, so Damien Dark is introduced in season 4. He's a main villain. And he is so powerful, magic speaking wise, because he can stop arrows in midair before they attack him and probably bullets, and he can suck the life force out of you. The reason why he's going up against Oliver Queen is because he wants control of the city, and he can't really get control of the city because all these people have been opposing him, so he gets some killed. Oliver Queen thinks, hey, I'm the Green Arrow, I'll stop that from happening because, you know. I can, so I'm gonna run for mayor because he can't kill me because I'm I'm the Green Arrow. And also, Damien Dark wants to destroy the whole entire world and nuke him to build a new world to build a better world, like Apocalypse would say. <laughs> and he has the safe haven that he can put people he chooses to be there that would survive a nuclear fallout. That's the whole entire. That's the road so far. The story so far. Let me talk to you about the episode and the rundown and what happened. I don't know if I can remember every single point because the episode was so boring I was like sleeping through half of it and wishing it would be over, but let's see what I can do. So the episode breakdown. Now Damien Dark's really OP, I mean he, based on what happened in one of the episodes that a thousand, like a lot of people died, that's how Damien Dark gets his power from each death, uh, he's able to get his power somehow. So like tens of thousands of people died, now Damien Dark is extremely OP, I mean like super overpowered, he can kill. Like, he is just strong, he can bend the earth to its whim, maybe I'm exaggerating his powers, but he's really strong. So there's a, clearly no way Oliver can win. In the episode, Oliver knows he can't win. Damien Dark, the whole entire city's in, in ruins in a way, like, you see all these citizens going like, Ah, oh, the world is, we're gonna die, and all these nuclear warheads are like, being launched and everything, and they have like, I think it was two hours to survive before they all die. I know that one missile was coming straight to them, and that was 40 minutes, and that gets resolved. In the episode, Oliver Queen knows he, it, it's over, he, he can't do anything. I believe it was Curtis who tells him, listen man, you can. So he formulates a plan. So it's Felicity, Malcolm Merlin, which by the way, Malcolm Merlin has been changing sides so many times. You know that one guy who always changes sides based on like whatever he's watching, whether it's a TV show, whether it's a, a fandom kind of thing, or whether it's sports? That's who Malcolm Merlin is. He's like, oh wait, this this side's doing better. Let, <laughs> let me let me switch to this side. You know, hey guys, I was always on your side. I was just really a mole. Hey, you still love me, right, Thea? Anyways, it's Malcolm Merlin, Thea, Felicity, and Curtis who all go to find the other hacker that's detonating these nuclear warheads to kill everyone. They do, and he has a bullet in his side. I believe it's Damien Dark who's controlling it, and he'll find out when he stops, you know, doing what he wants, so he'll kill him if he doesn't. And the way that gets resolved, Felicity comes in saying, oh hey, remember when we used to go out? Well, if you really love me, you'll stop doing this. And he does, and he dies. And the way he dies and the way Felicity reacts, I, I don't like Felicity. She was like, oh yeah, he died, guys. Anyways, let's stop this. Like, what? <laughs> Felicity got tens of thousands of people killed and she didn't show you saw no repercussions of that on the previous episode before the season finale She felt remorse, but not on the grand scheme of tens of thousands of people I'm talking about she felt remorse as if I accidentally deleted death's save file on Dark Souls 3 I'd feel bad. I feel really bad, but that's the way Felicity felt bad She didn't feel bad like I killed tens of thousands of people. She felt bad like oh man I accidentally ate your pizza, dude. My bad. Okay. Well, maybe not like that, but you know what I mean <laughs> So when her ex dies she doesn't care. She's just like, yeah, he died, whatever. And I, just, I don't like Felicity as a character, so that gets resolved. The nuclear warheads gets resolved because she's able to make them just go up into space and I guess blow up into space or just stay into space. And then it's Arrow versus Damien Dark. I know I skipped a lot just to get to the end of the episode, but seriously, everything before the episode doesn't really matter. It doesn't. It's just, oh, hey, uh, drama, uh, Felicity and Oliver talking, uh, some jokes here and there that don't make sense because this is a time of world ending. This is world ending ending crisis there's no time to make jokes guys we're gonna die okay <laughs> maybe make a joke when we live like 
Oh, guys, man. Oh, we, we almost died. Eh, insert joke. Death sucks. You know? It's Arrow against Damien Dark. First of all, that fight, I didn't like that fight. I thought it was pretty bad. Because the way it gets resolved, it's all these people. Because Oliver Queen gives a speech in that episode. Uh, a moment where, like, everyone is in panic. All these citizens. He's like, we have to save our city. Save our city. Doors reference. And what happens is, all these citizens are for Oliver Queen. They're like, yeah, we believe in you. It's Green Arrow against Damien Dark. And they see that. And they're like, yeah, we're, we're totally for you green arrow you can do it shoot his freaking head off what ends up happening is damien dark loses his magical ability because oliver queen can counteract it because oliver queen is now magic he has magic now guys the dude who could only use bow and arrows has magic i guess the reason why he's able to beat damien dark using magic and like kind of ne negate his effects are because oh all these people are are you know believe in me so now i become goku like with the spirit bomb and transfer that energy to me or whatever and it's like that's i don't think that's how that works but okay writers whatever and it's green arrow with all these citizens going up against damien dark and his mercenaries because damien dark has mercenaries that have guns that are trained killers and guess who wins arrow and the citizens with probably little to no combat experience why because instead of the mercenaries using their guns they choose to use their fists and even if they use their fists i still think they'd win like nine out of ten times uh green arrow kills damien dark i remember damien dark said you won't kill me because you didn't kill slade wilson <laughs> and arrow uh green arrow's like yeah but you, I had a choice, and you, you don't have a choice. I'm gonna kill you, and he kills him, and I'm like, okay, well that got resolved, and you killed him, great, and now the citizens stopped it, and then yay, the end, they, they saved the world, and I didn't get that. I didn't get that feel from that episode. I didn't get the whole entire world ending. I didn't get the characters might die, characters might, you know, leave on this episode, on the season finale. I didn't care, and I feel like what, as a show, when you make your audiences not care, you lose them. Like, why would you do that? Why would you? do that and the way it ends the, the the closing moments is thea who's known as speedy who's oliver queen's sister and also sidekick leaves malcolm merlin probably left a long time ago and i don't know why they haven't killed him off yet because dude he's been like he's been backstabbing arrow in the back so why not kill him john diggle leaves who's a friend of oliver queen's who i mean i don't know what he's doing he's just you know freaking big needle over here with his like <laughs> helmet and everything he leaves along with thea and it's just oliver queen and felicity at the end that are gonna rebuild the city oh and by the way oliver queen becomes mayor or he's about to become mayor and that's the way it ends it's just oliver and felicity and i feel like that's such fan service to the people who love oliver and felicity the elicity fandom and as a show you shouldn't cater to only one group's need especially when that one group doesn't really care about comic books that much you know look at the flash who cares about comic books and look at arrow where they care more about tumblr users so that's a whole entire episode that was the season finale and i hated it i thought it was dumb i i I hate the fact that they're using Olicity as their only plot point, like their, their main plot point. It's like, oh, hey, I think people like uh, F Felicity and Oliver to get together. Let's make them get together and only make the show about them, center about them, and center more about Felicity and kind of neglect Oliver a bit. It was just dumb, the season finale. I don't know what season five is going to offer, and I hope based off of the Flash's season two finale, we're able to see a Flashpoint paradox where maybe Felicity died or maybe Felicity just doesn't like Oliver Queen like that. I don't know. I just don't want to see Felicity anymore. Like, I used to love her character and I used to be a fan of Elicity, but now I don't like them at all and I think they should end it and they shouldn't put this on and off again because it's going to this whole entire... It went from a cool action comic book show to a soap opera drama with some action here and there. Like, seriously, I can go watch a Mexican telenovela and I'm pretty sure I'll see the same elements. If not, I'll probably be more intrigued in the Mexican telenovela because, you know, they probably have the guts to do something that Arrow doesn't. Anyways, guys, all in all, I thought this episode was bad. I thought this episode wasn't good. I think the show is slowly declining in quality, and I'm pretty sure if you look at the numbers, it is. And I know a lot of fans are screaming, I take away Mark Guggenham as writer, because I think it's true. I think we should leave him as writer. I think you should make Mark Guggenham step down as writer, because look at Andrew Kreisberg and Greg Berlanti. They have done amazing jobs with The Flash. All in all, this season finale was bad, crap, and it honestly genuinely made me feel sad for the show and what it's become, because I used to love it anyways guys that's all i have to say about the show that's all what i that's what i thought about the the season finale I'm, i'll probably do a season four review later on in the future i'm not sure drop a comment tell me what you thought of the season finale 
and if you didn't like it, well, you know, forget it. Don't even tell me what you thought of the season finale, because I know what you thought of the season 4 finale. Drop a comment and tell me what you thought of the Flash season 2 finale, or Daredevil season 2, because that's what people are doing now. <laughs> Forgetting Arrow and talking about something else that's much more better in quality. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And remember, just because I am here, because death is is off somewhere goofing around probably you know tugging the flush boat to Janae Aiko <laughs> just because I am here doesn't mean the end is near